If you have a CSV file that's on your computer, it's very easy to import these into Datagraph. You can take the file, drag it, and drop it over here on the left-hand side. That creates a data group, and you can see your columns of data. Now, the, the thing that we've added recently in the beta is that you can also connect to CSV files online. This file, for example, is something that I downloaded from online. This comes from a compilation of available R datasets, and this one's called Animals. I can go to the CSV link for this file, and you see now, here's a link to the file. You can see the actual data. So what I can do is I can just drag this actual link and drop it right onto my Datagraph file, and now, there you have it. Here's animals.csv. It imported the name of the file as a group. You see it has sort of a different icon here. This is actually an expansion of the uh, JSON functionality that is now works for CSV files. And if you drag and drop the file, uh, sorry, the link to the file onto your data dictionary over here, then it goes ahead and populates all the data. And you can see the difference between these two groups is that the linked data is shown here all in bold, whereas the data that's actually saved within the Datagraph file is not bold, is a is a um, the standard text. So um, let me maybe do that even one more time just to show you exactly how this worked. So here's my website where I have the link to this file. Now if you um, just click and drag and drop here. Again, it will bring that group in. Uh, if you have the other direction, here's my website, here's my Datagraph file. Now notice if I just click here to drag, whoops, if I click here to drag this, then I no longer see my Datagraph file. A trick is to hold the Command key then click and drag, and notice that then my Datagraph file will stay above the website. If I just clicked to drag, then I no longer see the file to be able to drop and drag it. So again, Command, click, drag, and drop, and I have my file connected to Datagraph. You can de delete these in the same way you would delete any other group, and that's just deleting the link to the data. If you want to see what this looks like, let me open this up, expand my file here. Uh, it shows you in the same way that all Datagraph groups have each column with an object. You see the object that represents each of these columns, but they have this uh, small icon that indicates, again, that this is a connected column to the file that's online. And if you expand here, you'll see the address where the connection is made. Um, there's also these key value pairs that you could use, for example, with JSON data. This, this can be handy. Um, and there's a couple of options here. Reload on change really refers to if you, if you change the link, uh, change the name of the file here, you can do that and it will change the uh, up, up, re-upload the data. If you want to save the content of the data so that even if you're no longer online, you'll have access to it, you can click that button. And you can even set up a time to reload. So if you're uh, using a CSV file that is updated on a regular basis, you can click this, um, click this option and then the actual file will be reloaded depend whatever time increment you specify. So by default, it's every 15 minutes. Now, if you want to create one of these from scratch, just so you can see how this works, I'll just, let's see, double click everything here. I'm going to copy this link and show you that if I go into the other drop down menu, you'll see now this uh, group from URL is what we've renamed this option. It used to be called JSON group, but now that we've expanded it, oops, for CSVs, it has a more general name. When you open this up, again, you have the place to paste in the URL. So I went ahead and did that, hit enter. Let me hide this other one so that you can see uh, what happened here. So when I just entered the URL, I don't see the data automatically. What I see is a list of all the columns that are in that CSV file. If I click on these, then it can show me those two columns. So I don't have to show every 
column that is in this file if I don't want to. Um, here I, I do, so I'll go ahead and, and show these. Um, and as I click them, again, you see the objects get populated down below. So if I remove them from here, whoops. Oh, actually I need to, if you want to remove it once it's added, you would click on the object and then hit delete. And now it shows it as unchecked. Again, if you want it to be on the, t on the table and, and be downloaded, you can just do that check. Hopefully this will be a handy way in the future for you to use CSV files that are online. And please try it out and let us know how it works. Again, this is all in the beta version of Datagraph that you can currently download.